Cookies and cream. Like, how are these healthy? I don't understand. These pants are not flattering, Charlie. The competitor. This is like a very interesting formula, shall we? Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be reviewing TikToker brands and products. Let's get into this. Okay, so the first brand we're gonna check out is Item Beauty, and this was created by Addison Ray. Okay, so here is an overview of the products. I like the coloring. It's very like Y2K vibes. Addison's go-to shade. Oh my goodness, I must buy that. I mean, this is cute. I feel like trying the mascara because I almost feel like, is Addison not known for having nice lashes? Which are probably hereditary, but you know what? I'm gonna buy into the marketing scheme that it's the mascara. Okay, here's what we got. And that is coming out to $100. Okay, $100 for all this? I've definitely seen worse. So I'm gonna check out. Okay, chaos has officially ensued in this room because I decided that the green was like two shades too bright. So it is being repainted currently, but that can't stop the filming, especially because Addison Rae's item beauty has officially arrived. Here is what it looks like. I cannot help but feel like the item font is very early 2000s. Fun. Like that is fun, okay, fine, that is fun. Okay, so here is that blush in the shade Oopsies. <laughs> So let's put it on our face, shall we? And since I don't have a foundation to try, I am going to be very heavy handed with the concealer cause I want to, cause I want to. Pretty decent coverage and actually a really nice finish. Okay, Addison. Oh my gosh, I'm like actually very impressed with that concealer. The coverage is nice. It blended in really nicely and it did a pretty good job covering. Like I would say this is medium coverage. Okay, Addison. Okay, before I set my concealer, I am going to take this cream blush, which this looks like a not cream blush. It looks like a powder. Very strange. Just blending. <laughs> this is interesting because usually cream blushes will lift my foundation or my concealer that's under them. It really went on well. Wow. Okay, Addison. I'm just setting with the Laura Mercier just because I didn't get a setting powder from Addison and if I don't set, it's not gonna be a fair fight. It's not gonna be a fair fight. Bronzer and blush is on. Now we are going to do the lid glaze. It's called Lunar Dry. Shut up. Made in Canada? This is made in Italy. Wait, what? Where's this made? This is made in Korea. Korea, Italy, and Canada. Wow. Ooh, it's very pretty. I like that. It's like, oh, that's nice. And like the finish is really good. Okay, there is that lid glaze. I really like it. We're gonna touch back in a few minutes and just see if it has creased. But in the meantime, we will put on our mascara. Whoa. I was not expecting that little wand. It's so small. Look at this precision. Don't look at my eyebrow. Look at this precision. Very good at separating the lashes for sure. Okay, a little bit of a mixed opinion on here. I would say they did good at separating the lashes and also coating each individual lash because you can be so precise with this. I would say the formula isn't like the most fantastic. <gasps> what? It says it's a lengthening mascara. That's like what it's known for. And I just said it doesn't lengthen. Hmm. I don't feel like it lengthened, but I definitely like it. Last but certainly not least, we have this lip oil in Lip Quip. Oh wait, no. This Lip Quip, which is the lip oil in Come Through. Come Through! Oh, Addison absolutely does not own that. Violet Tchotchke does, and you cannot tell me anyway otherwise. Come through! Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. It smells like the most artificial peach ever. Glossy! Looks so glossy, and it's not sticky at all. This is a great product. Honestly, all of this was pretty great. <gasps> You're kidding me. My eyelid hasn't even creased yet. Whoa, mark the calendar. This is unusual. The packaging is cute. The products are great. I think Addison did a really good job. I like it. I'm impressed. Item Beauty definitely gets a check from me. Whatever that certification proves to you, I'm not sure. Okay, next brand that we have to check out was created by, let me see, Josh Richards and Bryce Hall. I'm just looking at my notes and I wrote Hall as actual like a clothing haul, which I don't think that's right. And this is Annie or Ani, 
A N I. Uh, let's like check out the story. I'm just kind of interested. We wanted an awesome taste and a simple formulation for energy and focus, not one that would carpet bomb our brains with caffeine and other additives. I mean, okay. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink energy drinks. I've actually never drank an energy drink in my life. Oh no, the only shipping option is the United States. Well, I guess we only have one option. Okay, I've got some bad news. I went to Palm Springs for Creator Summit. While I was there, I was like, I will just try and find this energy drink in Walmart, because apparently it's in every Walmart. Couldn't find it. I even sent my parents to go to literally every single Walmart in the area while I was at the summit, just to make sure. So I don't know where it's being sold, but it's not Palm Springs. I sent this screenshot, which I think is pretty straightforward. The ones I'm looking for, but they just saw this one. It is kind of interesting because this is an energy drink too, and it's so similar to Ani, but this is Alani. I don't know which one came first. Anyway, so I couldn't find it. So on their website, they said to reach out via email for international orders. So I reached out on email and I was like, hi, can I place an international order? I'm based in Canada. That was a week ago, no response. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if they respond to my Instagram account. And that was also a week ago, no response. So I don't know who's checking Ani's emails or DMs. I don't think anybody. So I guess I will just try Alani, the competitor. The packaging looks great. I love the almost like outer space theme on here. Let's just pick two flavors and give them a try. Tastes like grape crush in a slushy form. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls after this. They all taste like if a slushy melted and then you just drank the liquid of a melted slushy. I think this portion of the video has been completely useless because I didn't actually try the brand that I was supposed to, but I hope you understand that I tried to get it. Next we have two different brands. Well, actually one brand and then one product, which might be its own brand, I'm not sure. From the literal queen, of TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio, or D'Amelio, or Nicki Minaj say it. The Amelio! Anyways, Charlie made a perfume and also a clothing line called Social Tourist, which is produced with Hollister. I'm kind of liking this pant design, actually. It's like taking pants to a fun level, like, hmm, mm. Okay, here we've got a green dress. Hmm, hmm. That's my only reaction noise. Hmm. I'm just putting quite a few things in my cart and then I'm gonna see what would make two outfits and I'll go from there. It's kind of making me realize I don't like love anything. I'm just trying to find a few things. Like nothing truly jumped out too much at me. So this is what I'm gonna get. Two seconds later. Okay, the blue top was actually sold out. So I added in this like navy dress. I'll show you when it gets here. Okay, the social tourist packages are in. It's sent in two different packages. I don't know why that is. It was only one order, but we have them. Okay, I'm a little bit confused because I'm missing something. I have the pants and then this with the dress, but where is the orange shirt? Where? Charlie? Editing Mia will update in case anything happened. Yeah, good news. There was actually three parcels and this one came later. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, oh, I like it. It's like an accordion. Here it is. I thought it was gonna be a little more cropped, but this is cute. I like the big sleeves. And honestly, I'm just happy it came. Now, when I buy jeans now, I size up one size just so that they're not too tight. Ooh, okay. Here are those pants. The length is amazing, which is such a relief because sometimes pants are too short for me. These are really, really cute. I love the tie up in the front. I love when the statement piece is right here. Look here. These I'm a little worried they're gonna be see-through because um, they're see-through. We'll try. Okay, these are interesting. First of all, nearly impossible to not have an underwear line on these. These are not very flattering. 
The fabric feels like the cheapest athletic wear I've ever worn in my life, where you can just see absolutely every bump, any nook, any cranny. I wish they were a little bit of a thicker fabric almost. They're just too thin. Very stretchy though, I will say that. Not my favorite item. Okay, here is that halter top dress on. This is a very flattering silhouette. I love halter tops. I like anything with a high neckline. I really, really like the color. This royal blue, I feel like it looks good on every single skin tone. It's just a really flattering color. Yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty. The one item that I wasn't actually going to get, I think might be my favorite. Okay, but overall, I would say there's a few hits and misses. Hit miss and i think you're if you're a huge fan of charlie this would be a lot of fun okay one more charlie thing this is born dreamer you are a born dreamer destined to have unique hopes and dreams that's why we developed this scent to vibe with your personal body chemistry let's see can we get this in canada oh my gosh i can perfect thanks charlie all right the order is placed i actually thought i might have to go to alta while i was in palm springs but i guess not got a morphe <laughs> sparkling top note of pear, followed by a floral center of jasmine petals, all grounded in warm cashmere woods and amber. That sounds amazing. Okay, here is what it looks in person. Here is the size, and this is plastic. Ooh, I just got a little, wait a minute. I've smelled someone who was wearing this recently. Okay, it smells great. It's like perfumey, but not too perfumey. It's like mature, but not too mature. You know when you smell perfume and you're like, that was made for like an 80 year old woman? It's not that, but it's also not like cotton candy. But I really appreciate this. I don't really get the cashmere, but I do smell the pear. This is really good. I like this perfume a lot. I like it. Yeah. Nice, good job. Okay, the very last TikToker brand we're gonna be trying is called Magic Spoon. Okay, let's go to About Us. First of all, the website is fun. Okay, so here's a chart comparing them to other cereal brands. That sugar difference is insane. Grain-free, gluten-free. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Do I feel myself actually enjoying a brand? Hold on a minute. We use a natural blend of monk fruit and alu... <sighs> a rare sugar found in things like figs and maple syrup. It almost has zero glycemic impact and almost zero calories. Very, very interesting. I'm intrigued, okay? I am actually intrigued. Oh wait, who made this? I don't remember. Hi, we're Greg and Gabby, co-founders of Magic Spoon. Wait, I thought that like, what is it, that house? Was it the Sway house? I thought they made this. Am I wrong? Oh, they just teamed up for something. I don't wanna be this person, but the Sway House is like, the, I don't really know what the Sway House does. And I'm gonna guess based on the fact that it's limited edition, it probably isn't available anymore. Yeah, no, my bad. I'm actually intrigued by this brand now, so I feel tempted to try it. I don't care. I don't care about the Sway House. I get this is a TikTok video, but I'm trying Magic Spoon. Let's do it. I'm gonna do that. And apparently they make bars and I'm actually enticed. I'm getting so many items and it's literally, literally not even a TikTok thing. I actually cannot wait for these to come. All right. The magic spoon order has arrived. Let's try it. I was kind of giggling to myself this morning because I knew I was trying this. I was just thinking about how this video has just become me just trying random products, completely unrelated to TikTok. Okay, here we have maple waffle, frosted, cinnamon roll, cookies and cream. Like, how are these healthy? I don't understand. Like, has anything named cookies and cream ever been healthy in our entire lives? No, it has not. Okay, for the cereal bars, we have cookies and cream, cinnamon roll, more and s'more. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm allergic to this one. I better not be allergic to all of these. Wait a minute, you guys. Oh my gosh, no. Two seconds later. You're very perplexed. It's good, but it doesn't taste like a cinnamon roll. But it is good. Oh, that one smells great. They smell mm. great. I don't understand these. <gasps> Mm. They're oh. high protein, keto friendly, and gluten free. Do you want to try it? This one's cookies and cream. Heck yeah, I do. Mm. Okay, I eat a lot 
of protein bars. You do. These are really good, but I'm also gonna tell you, there's some kind of like additive or something that gives it a weird sugar taste. Mm. Like fake sugar taste. Do you, do you want these? I do. Now that we have that awesome and decisive review. Okay, cinnamon roll. Let's see. Looks like little Cheerios. Cheerio? Mmm. It tastes like Christmas. This should be a play on Frosted Flakes, I'm guessing. It's really freaking good. Maple waffle. This one smells like Disneyland. We've got the cookie and the cream. Interesting. Hmm. They all taste kind of similar. Let's have a bowl, shall we? All right, here we go. As an adult who doesn't eat sugary cereal anymore, this is very fun. And I mean, supposedly it's good for you. I like it. Did we actually even try that many TikToker products? I literally think we only tried Charlie and Addison's. Listen, this is the Canadian struggle. Not being able to get products for videos because they don't ship to Canada. It has been a struggle since I started my channel 10 years ago and it continues to be a struggle. We couldn't try the energy drink. I was too late to the collaboration. But you know what, let's look on the positive side. We still got to try some fun cereals and we also got to try a very, very sugary sugary, tasty, well no sugar apparently, but still very sugary like a melted slushy energy drink. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and also click or ring the bell. That'll tell you exactly when I post. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!